A three-year nationwide project called Advanced Farming Systems is designed to help farmers farm smarter. The project is funded by the Sustainable Farming Fund, the Foundation for Arable Research, as well as a number of regional councils and private businesses. Work is underway on case studies around the country. We caught up with project manager Dan Bloomer on David Clark's property in Gisborne. The short name of the project that we're involved in is Advanced Farming Systems. It's really about seeing what farmers can do with some of the new technologies that are available to farm more sustainably, that's economically and environmentally. Uh, we've been fortunate to get funding under the Sustainable Farming Fund's climate change portfolio. The big picture is how can farmers use some of these new technologies to farm better. But what we've done is gone to a number of regions in the North Island and also in the South Island to find a range of different farm types and different crops. Within those, we've selected a number of different technologies or different things you might be able to do with the technology that the particular farmer is interested in. So they, if you like, become a project champion for that particular issue. And if we move over three inches a year, it's how many times we move over before we start moving back again. It's trying to just get that gap wider. Unless we we've got 350 hectares of maize and 50 hectares of squash that we've been leasing to a leasee I mean, on the Poverty Bay Flats. Uh, I've been a member of Landwise right from when it started and it's been a sort of a good discussion group getting into different regions, meeting different people who are really um, thinking about things and how they want to do it, minimising their passes, using this technology and we've been doing it for seven years and we're doing a certain method. We're concentrating the traffic into what we call tram lines, so we're only trafficking the tram line areas. All our machinery's 10 metres wide, our wheel tracks are 3 metres wide, so it's an offset across the paddock at 10 metre intervals, and we don't traffic between the tram lines, which enables us to pull the strips up and the ground becomes very friable. We've got very heavy clay loam soils here on Opu, and Compaction's always been a major issue and we'd gone wider and wider in our tyre widths and we we're out to a metre and fifty tyres trying to get our ground pressures down. We still had power harrows and discs and we still weren't winning. So it was really a rethink of what we were doing and uh, we saw the strip till concept when Hugh Ritchie came back from Nuffield Scholarship seven or eight years ago. We're pretty excited with the concept of really just cultivating the area where the seed was going in. And once RTK GPS came on the scene, it pulled the whole lot together. We've gone from five tractors to two bigger tractors. We've got a tanker driver that keeps saying to us, are we making diesel? He's not selling us diesel. And our, our fuel consumption's probably 50% of what it was um, eight, eight or nine years ago. This is this year's row, obviously. These are last year's stalks, so we've moved over three inches from last year's row. Um, there's also a previous row from the year before last, which is actually in line with the row um, that we've planted this year. So there's an allopathic effect of putting this year's seed on top of last year's crop. We'll be having field days and events right throughout the project as soon as we've got the, the key case studies defined. And the thing there is we can talk to the farming community in that region about the issues that the farm's facing and how they intend going about it. And the warts and all approach means that the learning's a lot richer. So when you come out the end, people have been on the journey and they really understand what you've done rather than coming up with an answer and saying this is what you have to do. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.